This is where we left off last night, if you can recall. And this is what we returned to this morning. Here we are. Welcome along to the vlog. We're back in the workshop at Harrison's Brewery. Big empty space at the minute, apart from the table saw being there and this little Joe Berg's workbench. And as you can see, well, we've got a huge pile of shizzle outside. All sorts of stuff out there, which um, you generally can't see through this window because it's normally blocked by this, uh, you know, Escape from Alcatraz style bars on the window get up. All I'm going to do today, what I'm going to do today is finish off this piece of timber work. Just a bit of plywood st stuck in there. Uh, same up at the top. I stick a little. Uh, a couple of spacers, get your words out Terence. Stick a couple of spacers at the back of that board just so it doesn't flap around in the breeze. And then uh, put a bit of window board on. And Robert's your mother's brother, that's done. Then we can paint that window before this monstrosity goes back on. It's very convenient though for hanging grinders off. And then I'll also be looking at some point at putting some type of curtain up on here, across to there, and then over to that wall somehow. So when I'm doing any grinding, I can pull the curtain around me. Someone suggested it on the comments yesterday, but I think uh, I already had it in mind. But you can have the glory if you like. You can have the glory. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that, I think. Paint the wall, paint the door, paint everything apart from this wall. And this wall, we're going to keep those two walls as they are. Hopefully, they won't look too bad when everything else is back in. And I'm also inclined to start painting the rafters at some point, but it's definitely one of those jobs that I'm only going to do when I've got time to do it. It's going to be like one of those jobs that is going to be a labour of love and definitely not a necessity. So if we open back up again, or I need to brew, then this is all going to go back onto the back burner while we continue with more pressing issues. But at the moment, there are breweries in the UK tipping beer down the drain because the government have closed the pubs. Now, I've just been to Tool Station to pick up this paint. And uh, they've got a one in, well, two members of the public in this branch at any one time, but... They're pretty good up there, so I didn't come into contact with anybody realistically, and I was masked up in the shop. But on the way back, driving through town, because our tool station's at the other side of Retford, uh, I came through the market square in the car. It was rammed. It was absolutely rammed. Pubs aren't the problem. Pubs never were the problem. But... Hey ho, what do you do? Just crack on and get on with it. There's nothing we can do. I do hope, though, that in the future, once this pandemic is over, that we're offered an explanation or somebody's held accountable to all these businesses that are folding due to a very badly managed pandemic on the part of the UK government. And I'm talking the people who are in power you know, the sitting government, the Tory party, effectively. The Conservatives are not handling this very well at all. There we go, rant over. So let's carry on with the renovations of Harrison's Brewery's workshop. What we are going to do today, though, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to sneak in a couple of cheeky beers... Uh, while we're at work. Yes, why not? Gemma's going to pick me up this evening and I'm going to crack open a few dirty cans. Uh, not many though, not many. And I've got a bottle of gin as well, which I can tuck into. It is Saturday after all, so I thought wouldn't it be nice if I just had a little bit of a drink and painted the workshop. I think it'd... Uh, It'd make the afternoon pass a little bit more pleasurably. 
I think Sam's going to come down as well, partake in a couple maybe. We might even do an ad hoc beer review, but no promises. Right then, boys and girls, we are three days, four days later from the weekend. Sunday I didn't do anything because I was hung over, massively hung over. And uh, Monday and Tuesday, we've been busy putting everything back into the workshop. Today's Wednesday. We've almost broke the back of it. So let's flip the camera. I'll show you around what we've done. And then we'll wrap up the vlog. So we've still got a huge amount of uh, junk knocking around. But what we have done is we managed to make a little bit of space here by getting rid of one of these tool cabinets. This is just a bit of packaging that needs to get rid of. I need to sort through these bits on the floor. So that tool cabinet has gone in to the brewery workshop. And uh, we've got most of the stuff that we brought out back in now. Just a few dribs and drabs that I need to sort through, sort out and eventually put back in and yes this is the new look workshop so far so we've kept this little screw chest <laughs> screw drawer if you like in the corner there that seems to be ideal actually put a few shelves up there for the welding helmets we've managed to get a base as you saw with Sam the other day on the bottom of the table saw and that's given us loads of free space. I managed to free up the space under here. So we're going to stick, obviously, some... Well, like the SDS can go in there for a start. Here we have the SDS sat now on the welding bench with the welder and the plasma cutter accessible. I'll just give you a quick pan around the whole workshop. So we painted the doors. This you'll recognise as the tool cabinet, but... Again, that's had a quick coat of gloss to tart it up a little bit. So we've got some open shelves there. Uh, the welder or the MIG, oh, that's there with the two Argon and uh, what's it called? Argo Shield, uh, I think, gases for the, for the welder. We painted the door. Still a little bit of junk down here. Forgot to find somewhere for the compressor to live, but I think we'll be able to hutch these cabinets across. They're all on wheels now. If I can hutch it across a bit, all I need to do is be able to open them drawers. Then we'll be able to fit this air compressor into that corner. Uh, I could probably adjust the handle as well. That'll, that'll slide back a little bit. That's a good thing. So these drawers all need marking up. We've swapped all sorts around. But basically, we've got all the tools off the board and off the sides and categorised and put away. Uh, we've rejigged this little sorter to house a lot of the plumbing fittings and stuff like that. So we've got PTFE tape, we've got pipe clips, olives, inserts, that kind of jazz. I already had a few of these sorting boxes, but I went out and picked up another five more. And then in there... We've decided to go and mark up all the bolts so that everything that we've got in there has a home and we can immediately just pull it out and see what's where uh, as and when we need it. Tool drawers, pliers, anything that does that action, you know what I mean? That kind of action in there. Let's just have a look in the next set. Yeah, marking, measuring, scribing, calculating in there. Next set, twisting. So you twist a screwdriver, you twist Allen keys, you twist drill bits. Makes sense. These are the big drill bits, though. Over here, we do still have a crazy mad drill bit drawer, which is thousands and thousands of drill bits in there. Uh, next one down, let's have a look. There we go, cutting things. So you cut with chisels, you cut with Stanley knives, you cut with saw blades. You don't really cut with files, but you kind of do in a some sort of way. 
and then just a few hammers and pry bars in there i don't think there's anything in this bottom one. Oh yeah ppe in the bottom that's right this side we're going with uh just a few of the spanners and oddments this isn't all of them by any stretch of the imagination we put most of the ones that i use regularly up on the wall here so i can just access the exact size that i need and also see which ones are missing and there's a few missing then we've got gloves in here and uh welding shield gloves kind of thing anything that clamps stuff in this one clampy things and then in the bottom some vacuum hoover plumbing you know hose pipe all that kind of jazz in there this set of drawers i haven't sorted out yet under there i've got some boxes and some screws uh, basically stuff that i don't use very often so i don't have to get down into that corner then under the table saw you'll see i've just used it uh we've just choked in the planes sanders uh belt sanders uh chop saw what's it called circular saw i think what i want to do is just put a platform across here just to stop all this dust being discarded underneath then around here we've extended the extractor i've just used it so as you can see there's a bit of dust in there and uh yeah like i said still a few things to bring in but we're trying to bring stuff in and categorize it as we go the drill press has now moved over there which seems a little bit more sensible the uh, bandsaw is on there next to the grinders. I'm happy for them to live there. Up on this table, we've got the clamps. And then we've got this uh, Swedish, I think, workbench that I'm uh, at the minute not the owner of. But uh, I'm looking after it for somebody, if you like. So, yeah, that's what's going on there. We're going to have this as the assembly area, one might imagine, for any projects that we've got. And then over here, eventually, where the welding area is, I want to have a curtain up on the ceiling that I can pull across and basically pull all the way across to here and completely split the workshop into two so that when I'm doing any grinding and anything like that, all the grinding dust doesn't end up across here. But I suppose it's not a massive issue now because... We've got rid of those massive open shelves. So I suppose if I just put some sliding doors on these cabinets under the table and maybe just a couple of doors on those there, it ain't really going to be an issue if we get dust anywhere. Just a case of getting the vac out and just vacuuming the surfaces. But there we go. The new workshop or the redesigned workshop. So it might not look like... I've done a lot on the face of it. I'd really love to board the ceiling. That's something that we talked about. Don't know whether I'm going to do it. But yeah, like I say, it doesn't look like much on the face of it. But what has happened in here is categorization of tools. So once I've got everything marked up and I memorize, I've got to readjust my memory now as to where the new house for everything is, then it should be sensible and easy for me to access and work. I mean, I've not shown you in half of the drawers. Uh, drill bits, wood turning chisels, forcing a bits, you know. Pretty much every single drawer set has got something in. Tap and dies. Um, socket sets in the bottom. Plastic plumbing fittings, brass plumbing fittings. And over here, we've got torches, glue gun pens markers anything that you use to scribe with and then we've got label maker uh, electrical instruments test equipment if you like tapes what's down here grinding discs empty drawer yes they're few and far between tie wraps or zip ties springs saw blades paint brushes rollers some electrical components that I haven't sorted yet. Light bulbs, batteries, uh, staples, uh, nail gun, brads and staples. And then down the bottom, pneumatics and air tools. Jesus. Anyway, that's enough of that. That's the new workshop storage. Sorted. Job done. Vlog done. 
See you on the next one. Thank you very much, folks. It's late. I'm going home. Look at the time. It is 20 to 7, if we ask Jeremy. There we go. Because the big hand's pointing to 8, and the little hand's in between 6 and 7.